welcome everybody to another round of World of Tanks subscriber replays. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and today's first video is from the user MTYGP. That's MTYGP, and he's driving the Cromwell on an assault battle on Erlenberg. With this being an assault battle, and they are defending, probably a good idea not to push out too far. Just want to spot the enemy as they come in and defend, and with the... Recent map changes to Erlenberg. There's a little extra cover on this left-hand flank. You don't really have the A0 cap, uh, camp point, though, because uh, you've got this big hill in the way now. But you do still have that little ridge there that the E25 and that Pershing are taking to. And then with the added bonus of these houses, anyone who goes up to this hill here at the spot and anybody who gets found up here does have somewhere to retreat to. So GP just finds out a, an IS-6 showing a lot of discipline there not to fire at the IS-6 and that's good because uh, probably wouldn't have been able to penetrate his armour and even if he could, he probably couldn't have um, consistently hit that lower plate especially with the speed that the IS-6 was moving. So showing a lot of discipline there, not opening fire and wasting his shots and giving away his position too early there. But as you can see, that IS-6 pushing all the way over the ridge. So I'm going to have to be careful here. The IS-6 not really paying attention to GP just yet. Looks like he is looking more to his front. So now with him exposing his side armour, he might be able to get a shot on him. Unfortunately, the side armour of the IS-6 is still pretty formidable, as you can see. Does manage to sneak one just underneath the uh, angle side armour. Now going to be focusing on that front drive wheel in an effort to keep him tracked there so that his allies can try and take him out. Unfortunately, just hits the dirt with that one. Looks like he's in a fantastic position here. Looks like the IS-6 doesn't quite have the gun depression to be able to get a shot on him. Not 100% convinced himself, so just puts himself behind this building. But to me, it looked a little bit like the... Uh, the IS-6 didn't have the gun depression to be able to get on target. IS-6 finally been taken out now. Did see a T-34 in front of him. Luckily the T-34 rushed his shot and missed this one. So MTYGP doing a great job of playing like a scout here. As we were talking about on the podcast. That uh, a fast medium tank can easily fill the role of a light tank. As we are seeing here. The Cromwell having its speed and agility as good as it is, is able to definitely fill the role of a light tank. And on the plus side, it has the hit points and the gun to be able to back it up. Getting some good hits on that T-34 there. Going to head forward to the crest of the hill. Just going to keep eyes on this uh, Centurion 1 here. And make sure if he pushes over the hill, he's going to pay the price for it. With most of the attackers in this area dealt with, you can see some of the allies moving up here. The E25's coming, the 110's dropping back. But with the E25 as support, this is going to allow uh, GP to push a little bit further forward. The set just crests the hill to spot the Centurion out. Does find a Jagdpanther on the, on the right-hand side here. Trying to take out his track, but not quite able to get a, a significant enough hit on that. And the E25 just going full YOLO down the centre here. Not really sure what it... I think he had a plan. And then it kind of... The battlefield changed while he was halfway towards his destination. But uh, rather than falling back and realising that it was a terrible plan. Decided just to push on regardless. Which is a mistake a lot of people make. Because he thought he was going to push up with the help of MTYGP here. But... Uh, with the Yag Panther coming over the hill on the right hand side, GP had to drop back. That E75 continued pushing regardless. Really, at that point, he should have decided to drop back as well or spun around to try and take on that uh, Yag Panther head on. Not quite able to hurt this Centurion 1 here. It being a tier 8, it might only be a medium tank, but it is pretty damn tough. And the gun on the Cromwell, not the best. <clears throat> Does have decent penetration and a good rate of fire, but its alpha damage is fairly poor. And against uh, nicely angled armour of the Centurion 1, it's just not going to be a match. So this is a bit of a standoff now. To be honest, I think this guy here, the allied uh, Jagdpanther, could have moved up earlier because there's nobody really he can hit from his position anymore. Does start to push up now. Oh man, here just keeping eyes on this Centurion 1. They're kind of just cancelling each other out at the moment. 
Uh, neither of them been able to push over this hill, although to be honest, if the Centurion did push over the hill, he would probably have the better time of the duel. But I don't think he knows that there's only one tank destroyer behind MT. So he gets spotted out and he's going to take some hits from that Pershing now as that Jagdpanther comes over the hill. And MT uses this opportunity to circle around the side of him and get some shots through his side armour, which he is indeed able to do. Centurion 1 drops back now, can't decide who to focus his uh, gun on. Was going to focus on the Jagdpanther because he's got the larger gun. But that just allows MT to get alongside him and consistently put damage through his side armour. And there was nothing he could do really in that situation. He was uh, caught between a rock and a hard place and he got taken out pretty quickly. And that becomes kill number one now for MT. Going to press on and try and find this S51. Probably still going to be in and around the spawn location. Absolutely is. You can see he realises he's been spotted out now and starts to run. But this S51 doesn't have the speed. Especially when his tracks get taken out. One more nice shot should be able to take him out. And indeed it is. And that is kill number two. So the right hand side is finally all dealt with. It was a bit of a long protracted battle. Thanks to that Centurion 1 doing a fantastic job of stopping the Allied team pushing on the hill there. But the enemy team has pushed through pretty damn strong on the left hand flank. Although the score is fairly even at 10 kills to 11. You can see MT's having to drop back towards the base now. In an effort to try and help the Allies. Finds a Jagdpanther, gets a lovely shot on the move there to get a little bit of damage on him. Looks like that Jagdpanther's going to continue running, doesn't want to turn around and try and face MT head on. Just manoeuvring himself just in case the shot didn't quite go through the concrete pillar there. Gets another good hit on this Jagdpanther and now he decides to stop and turn and face his attacker. So MT decides to just move on, as you do in a fast medium tank. Has another cheeky shot into the darkness there, just in case. Now we can see the side armour of this SU. It's a good hit on him. And if he doesn't make a move, then he gets himself taken out by the Pershing. It's another shot at that Jagdpanther. Unfortunately, that one just missed there. And the game is all square at 12 kills to 12 at the moment. It's a good hit on that KV-1S. It looks like the KV-1S has got all his attention focused on that Jagdpanther. And the enemy team is in the base for the base capture at the moment. Two of them in there. One of them in there now. And the uh, they get the reset on the Jagdpanther. And the IS-3 drives out of the cap circle for some reason. Don't think he wanted to be in a position where he could be shot at. And the Jagdpanther, not keeping a building between himself and this flank here, gets himself taken out. And MT YGP got to be careful here because the cannon on this KB-3 will make short work of a Cromwell. But as it is, it looks like he's focusing on somebody else, gets his track taken out, and that just allows MT to focus on his rear armour, and he's l hopefully going to be able to get shot after shot into this guy. Looks like he's still trying to duel with this Pershing. Gets another good hit on him, the IS-3 finally takes out the Pershing, and uh, MT YGP got to be careful here, but he's able to sneak a shot through the side armour, pick off that kill for kill number four, and over 3,000 points of damage. So absolutely awesome replay there from MTYGP showing his skills in the Cromwell in a tier 8 game being bottom tier still coming up big with the goods. So absolutely awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. And don't forget to stick around because as always the score screens and another game are coming right up. And our second replay of the day is from the user Meola. That is Meola, and he's driving the 113 on an encounter battle on Malinovka. Excuse me. 113 being a tier 10 heavy tank for the Chinese. 
So Miola going to be heading off towards the lake straight away. Gets a good hit on that WZ-132 light tank. And uh, looks like he was making his way into the ditch. Does get himself taken out in the end, but uh, not before the Allied team, thanks to his spotting, is able to take out an Indian Panzer. So pretty much a fair trade there. Now, uh, Miola going to sneak down into the ravine to take on a T-54 head-on. He figures there's probably nobody on the right-hand flank yet, just about yet, over towards the cap circle. It's going to be able to get hits on him. The Allied team got plenty of tanks in that location here, so this T-54 is going to take an absolute battering. And, uh, Miola just going to finish him off, and he becomes kill number one. So we're going to press on now. I'm going, going to head towards the slope here and see who we can spot out using his heavy tank more as a scout than as a heavy. Although I suppose probably just not wanting to play the sit back and snipe role wants to use his tank more as a battering ram and as a wedge to drive between the enemy using its armour and its hit points to just kind of disrupt the enemy lines. Decides that there's nobody on that southern flank there this was sticking around just in case there was someone there that the uh, AMX spotted out and he would be able to get some nice hits onto but as it is finds the FV183 here and gets a good hit on the side of him gotta play it careful though because if that thing gets a hit on you it's gonna do some serious serious damage so always got to play it careful when you come up against a 183 so just going to ignore him here now because he doesn't want to try and crest the hill to try and take him out. Centurion 1 D cloaks in the middle of the field right in front of him. And uh, thanks to cresting the hill a little bit higher than he did last time, he's able to spot him out. Centurion 1 fluffs his shot, so luckily Miola doesn't take any more damage. Does get a good hit through the side of this Object 704. So at the moment, he's getting some fantastic spotting on all of the enemy team. As that Centurion 1 approaches his position, just takes him out nice and calm. Doesn't want to have his nice position here threatened by anybody. Just cresting the hill ever so slightly more and more to try and get some hits on people. Unfortunately, just hits the dirt instead of the mouse. Looks like the 183 is poised in this position. Unfortunately, with the uh, the shape of the terrain in front of him, that 183 is going to have to crest the hill far too much and put himself at risk. Meola knows it, and the FV knows that Meola also can't get up the hill too much himself to be able to threaten him, because if he comes up too far, he's going to take a battering. Just offering some aid on this southern flank to the AMX 12T, who's doing a great job of spotting out the enemy. Able to take out that V kit, and that is kill number three. So the 183 is still kicking around right next to Miola here. He's going to pop back over the hill and see if he can spot somebody out here. Doesn't want to crest the hill too far. Uh, uses the shape of the terrain here to get up far enough to get a shot on this mouse. Is able to get a good chunk of damage through the side of him. Does find an object 704. Probably not looking in this direction or else he probably would have taken a hit already. Looks like the object 704 has fired. So it's an opportunity now for Miola to move up the hill and have a blind shot at him there as he's not able to spot him. And this FV is taking an absolute battering from the right-hand side here. Miola going to pop over and see if he can finish him off. But it looks like the AMX 12T was able to finish him off. But he saves his shot for the Object 704 and batters him clean in the face there, doing a huge amount of damage. Now he's switching his attention back up to the hill here to try and get another shot on this mouse. Does get the full side armour, although the mouse is a troll machine if ever there was one. And he's able to just bounce that one. The Object 704 has another shot. But the nicely angled front plate there from Miola just bouncing that one gets a good hit on, I think it was the T-54 there. So now he's just able to put shot after shot up onto the hill because there's nobody left in this southern flank here. On this right hand side to be able to oppose him. The, uh, the 183 has fallen. The Object 704 has only got a tiny bit of health left. So if he pokes himself up, he's going to probably get himself taken out. Unfortunately, they're not really able to focus fire anybody down on this hill. So it's just everybody's taken one or two shots each. So although he's done a lot of damage, they haven't really taken anybody out. Although a few of them are starting to drop back now. This T-54 heading back maybe to try and offer some defense to his Object 704. But unfortunately, it's probably going to be too little too late. Gets a good hit on that ST1 up on the hill there. Yeah, this T-54 coming back to defend the Object 704. 
But like I said, it's probably too little too late as he comes around way too late here. The Allied T-54 is pressing down on the Object 704. Just decides to swing around past him. Got to be careful here as his Object 704. Nope, he's got his full rear armor exposed. And Mule is able to take him out and pick up kill number four. So that just leaves the T-54 here. Uh, an ST-1 and a mouse up on the hill. Mule is able to just kill secure that T-54. And that is kill number five. Maybe able to pick up this ST-1 for a Top Gun medal. Nope, that one just about bounces on the uh, on the angled armor of that ST-1. So this thing is a bit of a bouncy creature. Difficult to take on. But his second shot is straight and true. And he's able to take him out. And that is kill number six. And that just leaves this mouse on top of the hill. He's only got half hit points. But when a mouse has only got half hit points, it's still pretty damn considerable. You can see the vultures closing in. Everybody's sweeping in on this mouse. Everybody trying to get a last bit of damage before he gets taken out. Although, with the amount of armor this thing has all round, it's going to be pretty difficult to take him out. Miola gets a fantastic shot there to take out his tracks. And that just means that he's pinned in this position. And there's nothing he can do. Although, still bouncing on the side of that ridiculous turret. And in the end, the E100 is able to take him out and pick up the kill. But that is GG and the game for the Allied team. Winning that one pretty convincingly at 15 kills to 7. And Miola picking himself up 6 kills and a massive 7 and a bit thousand points of damage. So absolutely awesome replay from you. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Don't forget guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, then send that into replay at screenreality.com. Link for that's in the description. If you found this video entertaining, informative, or you learned something here, then definitely leave me a like, favourite, and stick a comment in the comment section below. And if you're not already, then definitely consider hitting that subscribe button for a lot more World of Tanks content in the future. I have been Maxwell, this has been World of Tanks, and I will catch you guys next time.